boo what up what up big rug dog how is everybody i hope everybody's having a wonderful day make sure you are always staying positive being happy and believe in yourself actually going to have a good day because it's still dark i believe it's like 7 13 in the morning all right so i started a vlog the other day i didn't really get to um do too much of it but I'm basically um, trying to get into the best shape so I can do the 2019 Arnold Wheelchair Pro Classic. Now, um, in the past, I've, you know, dieted and stuff when I did bodybuilding. I just did not like it. I stepped away from bodybuilding because I did not like it. Um, you know, me doing a lot of research and stuff that I do um, with my nutrition, diet plans, everything like that. I came across a guy named Jason Whitrock um, on Instagram, and he does a diet called Keto. This diet consists of a high-fat, medium-protein, low-carb diet. Basically, you trigger your body from naturally burning glycose to burning stored fat or fat constantly. This morning, I'm actually with that. This morning, I'm actually starting. Um, I've been actually doing keto for the past couple weeks. I went off it for a little bit, went back on it, and now I'm doing it like 100%. Um, again, you gotta find out what you know works for you. I know a lot of people are gonna bash me because they go, oh, you're doing a diet that's not good for you. Listen, there's certain things you need to take in consideration when doing the keto. For one, you gotta make sure you get your good fats from good fats. I'm sorry, you gotta get your fats from good fats. Um, like this morning, I'm actually drinking coffee, which I usually don't, but I'm trying it out. I'm actually having keto coffee bombs. This is actually organic grass-fed butter with, uh, triglycerides, um, a little bit of salt, um, coffee, obviously. Um, again, I'm only having this in the morning to try to get my, uh, ketosis going, um, like I said, I'm still new at this, man. I'm not an expert. I don't know. I still do intermittent fasting. I still do prolonged fasting. That's a normal thing every, you know, couple times a week, a uh, couple times a month. I do that. Again, intermittent fasting, prolonged fasting is great for benefit, for health benefits. So is a keto, uh, ketogenic diet. But again, people take this keto and think, oh, because I'm on keto, I can eat all this garbage fat, you know, that's not the case, when you eat that stuff, you're putting your body in the risk, you're putting your health in the risk, but when you take in the good fats, that's when your body thrives off that and actually uses it and utilizes it differently, again, don't get me wrong, sometimes when I have like a uh, sweet tooth with that, I eat these things called fat bombs, where like last night I ate, I ate, um, I made uh, keto pizza, which is the the bread. The bread was made out of eggs and cheese, and then once that was done, we actually let it cool down for a little bit. Then we put our toppings on, which is pizza sauce, um, pepperonis, turkey pepperoni, um, bacon, and some more mozzarella. Now, to be honest, man, I'll show you a video after this of my morning uh, look and how I look, man. I'm pretty shredded. So, uh, again, people can say whatever they want on the diet. Again, I'm trying it on myself to see how it works. Again, you got to find what works for you. In the past, I stopped bodybuilding. I stopped competing because the diet is just not something that I can live a lifestyle doing every day. It's just not it. You know, usually I'm about 80% clean, 20% whatever I want. Um... But again, that even gets tricky because, again, I like to eat food. I like to eat things. I like to eat cheese and stuff. I mean, it's hard. Now that I got this, I'm starting this diet, I feel great. Um, I feel alive and I feel ready to go, man. Like, I'm, like I said, I'm waking up early in the morning. Um, it's pretty crazy. So, again, keep, keep checking me out, man. Keep following me on this keto journey. Again, I don't usually eat, drink coffee, but I am. It's pretty good. Um... Yeah, and just keep following along, man. Like I said, don't take all the advice from me. Go look it up online. The keto, the keto genetic diet. Like I said, it's crazy. 
Um, basically, it's a high fat, medium protein, low carb, basically no carb diet. You're getting your carbs to your good nutrition as uh, spinach, asparagus, broccoli, things like that. Um, you're in keto- when you're in ketosis, your body is always burning fat, excess fat. So that's kind of where I want to be. I want to be real shredded. Again, I also want to enjoy this prep. So if it all works out, man, I'm getting on stage. Again, keep following me along. Appreciate you guys. Thanks a lot. Until next time. All right, already cleaned up, ready for the day. So I just wanna say that I'm not an expert, I'm not a doctor, um, I've only done research on this stuff and I'm experiencing it on myself. You gotta find what works for you. I've been doing diets for years now. Um, I'm a certified nutritionist, I'm a certified personal trainer, I'm a fitness coach, um, I know a lot of knowledge. Um, I know a lot of stuff about nutrition and everything. I've been doing, like I said, this for a long time. I am an IFB Pro Wheelchair Bodybuilder, number 17, ranked in the world to make the pro um, professional wheelchair bodybuilding division. I'm telling you, man, I stay jacked almost all year round, eating 80% lean, 20% whatever I want. But I do enjoy, I do miss um, enjoying some foods, but you know, that's kind of how it is sometimes. But I've been following this guy named Jason Whitrock, uh, another guy named Thomas Delory. Um, those two guys are amazing. Um, that's where I learned how to intermittent fast and prolong fast was through Thomas Delory. I did that for years, loved it, I still do it. Even with this new keto diet that I'm trying out, I still am incorporating intermittent fasting um, throughout it. So anyways, again, I just wanna say I'm not an expert. Um, I'm going to try to give you the best um, knowledge and stuff that I have researched and what I come across. Also, the experience of it being done on myself. Um, Again, look up Jason Whitrock. This guy's been keto for ketogenetic uh, dieting for four years. The guy's beyond ripped to shreds. The things that he eats, I stay away from a little bit some of the fats that he eats um and he's still jacked but again there's good fat and there's bad fat and if you know the way the keto works um the diet works basically it's burning your fat so even if you're taking bad fat it kind of burns it up but again you don't want that in your body so i'm getting my good fats through like avocados which he is still too um still lean meat that i add so maybe flaxseed oil to chia seeds, um, stuff like that, stuff that are, is natural and good nutritional for you. Again, just look it up, man. Um, I appreciate you guys following me on this journey. Why not? You know, like I said, I do a lot of dieting. I try a lot of things out of me. Um, and like I said, man, it's, you know, it's all about learning and trying to better yourself and better your health every day. So, that's all I'm trying to do, you know. Um, again, we are on this journey for the 2019 Arnold Classic Pro Wheelchair Bodybuilding Show, but if I don't get into the shape that I want, I'm not going to compete. But as time gets closer, I got to kind of make the decision. So I'm going to keep grinding, keep busting my butt. Again, keep checking me out, man. Keep following me. I appreciate you guys. See y'all later. Yo, just got to my cousin's house. It's raining. Terrible outside. I'm actually just waiting for him to get off work. I got here a little bit early. Let's do a little more talking about this keto genetic diet that I'm on. Again, um, when I first heard about it and everybody's all going crazy about it, I thought it was really bad for you. Um, But then I started doing research and really investigating and realizing that there's different ways you can do keto. Yes, there is bad ways and good ways you can do keto. Um, and again, you got to find what's, you know, works for you. Um, again, I'm always about trying to compete and get back on stage. I mean, I've, 
stepped away from bodybuilding. It was really hard and really, you know, it affects me every day, really. I love it. I love the sport. I love doing it. But dieting down so hard is just crazy, man. But with this keto genetic uh, diet and basically me using fat as a source of my energy, I can actually enjoy, like, eggs, regular eggs instead of egg whites all day. Plain old egg whites. kind of nasty. Now I don't have to. Now I can actually enjoy regular eggs, um, avocados all day, um, steak, um, salmon. I mean, I can enjoy salt. Um, I can enjoy, you know, bacon. I mean, cheese. It's actually pretty good. Again, I'll show you another update tonight at my cousin's house as I'm working out what my physique looks like. You've already, uh, will see my physique this morning in this blog. So, yeah. I don't know, man. Like I said, I'm not an expert. I'm not a doctor. But all I know is I'm trying it out. Why not? If this, if this gets me back on stage, I'm happy and excited. So, again, I hope everybody's having a good day. See you guys in a little bit. <laughs> Just don't want what we don't get mad and this thing's hard up. We try and pull stories. Now those on the